Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year everyone. We love you and we appreciate you so much. Today I just wanted to come on and just do a live right quick and show you some uh, tips on how to decorate some of these dough ornaments. I'm going to decorate some for Valentine's, but so many of you asked me to show you how I decorated these when I posted this picture on my Facebook group page. So guess what friends, today I'm going to show you how to do that, how I do that and how easy it is. Plus, I got a lot of other stuff to share with you. So let's get going. The first thing I want to do is, um, I'm going to tell you that I'm using this cute little mat. This came from Walmart and right now they are like 50% off or more and they're wonderful to uh, roll your dough out on. Now I'm using this Model Magic clay only because, friends, there was a Dollar General closing their doors and I got a bunch of these little packs for 25 cents. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use it to show you how I'm making, uh, how I made these little dough ornaments here. And someone or a lot of you asked me where these cookie cutters came from. My daughter-in-law, Leanna, ordered them from Amazon, I think, and they're from Ann, Ann Clark. Is that? I can't mm -hmm. read upside mm -hmm. down. Yeah, Ann Clark. Yes, and I think you ordered them off Amazon, Leanna? Mm -hmm. And I just love them. They are great. When you're working with this dough, this clay, <laughs> thinking Hello. dough. Hello. Everyone's saying hi. hi Happy friends. New Year's. Happy New Year. And welcome to my channel. Bienvenidos the, todos. The camera's over here, by the way. Feliz Año Nuevo. <laughs> so she's, she's so used to looking at the camera being like right here underneath the light, the main camera. Oh, friends, I'm just excited today. I promise I didn't drink that champagne bottle that I posted a picture of. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited for the new year, excited to get started. Okay, you need to condition your, your clay really well. And when it starts to stretch like taffy, that means you're pretty, you're pretty much good. You know, but I usually take time to, to mess with it. And then, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rings off. All right. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna roll it into a ball. And I know a lot of you are very professional and have channels and are way past this stage. But I'm doing this for our subscribers that are new, that are telling me, hey, slow down. We need to know how to start off doing this. So here we go, friends. I'm doing this just for you. Yeah, and as, as we go along, if you have any questions, if, there, if we're missing anything, feel free to ask. I'm, I'm trying to keep my eyes on it. I see everybody saying hello and happy new year. I hope you guys are having a good first day of the year. At least, at least hopefully nobody's working. It's a Sunday. Hopefully yes. everybody's taking it easy. Yes, And this little rolling pin, I was asked where I got it, came from Hobby Lobby. But I know you can get them, you can get one at uh, Dollar General, and I've seen them at Walmart. So um, you can pick those up anywhere. Okay. So yeah, it looks like a giant glue stick is what I thought that was. <laughs> Just look. See how easy that is? All right. And while I was do making some of these, Eric asked me about the stuff that I used on the taco shells, on the fake tacos that I made. He said, why don't you use some of that, cut you a piece out and make you a little pattern so I'm going to do that. And this stuff is rug underlay. And it came from Dollar Tree. And my friend Debbie Williams sent me that. Because I could not find it here anywhere. And she's from California. Hi, my Debbie Williams. And she sent that to me last year. And also, I am wearing an apron that was sent to me by my friend Callan. She has a YouTube channel called C 
crazy days of Callan, and she does. Whoa. What was that? Your Christmas cards are trying to attack me. One just, <laughs> just flew off the wall right at the back of me. Hey, look. All right, sorry. Getting <laughs> ADD. <laughs> They're not going to hurt Don't you, Eric. It. Okay. The paper cuts, they, look, they're brutal. I know. Look look at that, friends. How cute is that? That's too too easy. All right, so then I just pick it up. And this is the time to put your little ornament hook on it if you want to hang it. And I love these little curly, curly cute ornaments. What is, where do you get those at? Well, maybe this is not the time. Maybe after I put the, the spackle on there. These came, oh, I had these gifted to me by my friend Cynthia Way, um, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby and at Walmart. Someone asked how thick you're rolling the clay. You know what? I never measure, but they always come out good. Uh, I'm trying to tell. What would you think? Mm. No, it's it's under a quarter of an inch. It's, yeah, you don't want to make it too too thin because then it's all um, it's maybe like three sloppy. You know, like these are perfect. This will be too because when it dries, where's, it expands. Where's the a tape bit. measure? Have you got it in the drawer over there? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> we'll get precise. My friend Cindy with Peep This, y'all. Like I said, there's other pros here mm -hmm. on the channels that I just have learned from. She gets too like. Um, ruler she puts one on each side and rolls her dough in between it and then does her cut out and it's always perfect but I'm just <laughs> all over the place I don't have the patience for that okay so after that's dried and I have this one right here after it's dried you can go ahead and paint it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and grab this plate I'm out of those little carton, those little trays, so I'm going to use this paper plate. And I'm going to use this pink eraser. Pink eraser. Apple barrel on the ice cream cone. These are so cute, friends. Oh my goodness. This is going to go on my Valentine tree. I don't normally, I'm normally not wasteful, but when I'm on camera, I kind of tend to Overdo it just a little bit. <laughs> I hope everyone is having a good start to the new year. Oh my goodness. There was enough firecrackers popping around all around us last night. I couldn't believe it. It was like we were in New York City. And we live out in the country in Alvarado, Texas. <laughs> okay, so that's as far as I go with that with the pink and then then I'll go ahead and get the um, I'm using the apple barrel classic caramel for the cone but before I do that I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little glitter before the paint dries. And I'm using the glitter from Walmart. What is it called? The uh, Sulin, Sullen. Snowy. I was reading the brand Surprise. name. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so people can go look yes. for it. Okay, so now I'm just going to use the classic caramel. And one good thing about the clay, I love the dough also, but the clay dries so quick, the paint on it. Yeah, if you're just now tuning in, hope everyone's having a good new year. And uh, if you have any questions on any of the steps, feel free to ask. I'm trying to, trying to go through everything. I don't, I don't use normally two coats on this, but if you feel you need to have another coat on there, then just let it dry completely and go for it. 
But if you glitter it, you really just need one coat. I don't know, that's what works for me, friends. It's just up to you and your liking. It's So these here are all one coat, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna put a little glitter on here. Show it off in the light. Oh. More of that same glitter that you were using yes. on the top? Yes, mm-hmm. Gotcha. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute. How did you all ring in the new year, huh? How did you ring in the new year? I ring in the new year. We pop firecrackers. We live out in the country and we get so excited about popping fireworks because, and we'd had a lot of rain, so there was no burn ban. And it, I'm just a big tomboy when it comes to that. I enjoy that. My husband and my son, uh, it, it, my son Jared, we just got out there and had a great time. All right, so. While this is, uh, this one's already dry, I'm gonna take you to the next step that I do. And I'm using this, uh, this is Scribbles, and this is a fabric paint. It is like a slick. I got this at Dollar Tree for $1.25, and uh, it's, it's a good color, and it works good, friends. Let me see if I can. Here, I can come around if okay. that makes it easier. Okay, that'll be great. I know, because somebody thought you were, why... somebody well, that had just tuned in before you put paint down thought you were working on a ghost. A ghost? Before you put the waffle on there. Oh! <laughs> because I was filming it upside down, you know? That's funny. It is. How many of you are decorating a Valentine tree? I just go outside, get me a branch. And, uh, oops, that one didn't go over very well. It'll be all You're right. You're welcome. I grab a branch and I spray paint it. White and I stick it in something and then I go to town with my um, Valentine cookie cutters making ornaments. Now I've got my little, um, my little copper glitter that came from that variety pack. Oh, it's so much easier when you've got the, the waffle imprint on there. I'm not, normally I would go around it, but I'm not since I have to handle it to put the, um, the lightweight spackle on there. Buttercup Creation said she's doing a Valentine tree. Oh, you'll be sure and post a picture of it on our Facebook group page. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the lightweight spackle and I've got some ready. I've already got some ready, but if you want me to show you, if you're first time, yeah, or, yeah, or you haven't done yeah. this Let's long go through enough. This. I'm gonna come back around okay. this side. Cause in you, our videos, we always skip this out just for, <laughs> it's like, I don't wanna film it over and over and he over. He doesn't. <laughs> okay, if you use the spackle from the Dollar Tree, there's nothing wrong with it, friends. It works for me. It's $1.25 and- the That's only $1.25? Only yes, but you uh -huh. have to add, you have to add your paint color cause it's a gray color. Mm -hmm. And then you have to spray a little water in it and then mix it up. So it's not completely ready to use. If you, invest a little bit more into the DAP brand of lightweight spackle, mm -hmm. it's ready to go. So I'm using a Wilton's 1M tip. I think you can see it there, 1M. Where does it say that at? Somewhere. Oh yeah, it's on that side, sorry. It, yeah, 1M. No, yeah, a little bit this way. <laughs> okay. And these, the. I use, I, I cut a lot of corners, but I still end up getting a, a good result on my crafts. Uh, are they are they corners you need to take if they turn <laughs> out that well? I mean. Well, I, a lot of people don't like these from the Dollar Tree, the, the uh, decorating bags, mm -hmm. but I don't have a problem with them. I guess because when I craft friends, I craft with all my heart, all my soul, I put everything into it. And more than likely, it, it's okay. So, especially if I'm giving it to somebody, I, I want I want it to do so you just well. Got a fat popsicle stick as, yes. your, as your scoop. Uh, tongue suppressors. Our yeah. nurses at school used to call them. Yeah. That's one way to get you to shut up as a kid. 
Or at least that's how they got me to be quiet. <laughs> I'm not you, Eric. <laughs> I still talk through it. You just couldn't understand what I was saying. Yeah, somebody asked if this is going to be live later. Yes, it is. If this live will be available later. That's what I meant. Yes, my, my wife's also working over here trying to uh, respond to you guys as well. Don't so. show them my messy desk. I've been working on my journal. I keep a journal every year, and um, I've, I've been working on mine for this coming year. So I have a lot of stuff all over the place on my desk. I love stickers, you know. She loves stickers. If you guys have any brand stickers, send them. <laughs> I'll start making her a sticker wall for it. I love stickers, all kinds. And I stick them on my journal and I stick them on my scrapbook pages because I'm a big scrapbooker, friends, too. I bet you didn't know that. All right, so I've got, I've got the, um, the details on the top and the bottom there. So now I'm just going to do this. Normally I could handle it because it would be dry. Yes. Okay, I'll tell her I'm on live and I'm going to introduce her clay. Yeah, I had a sweet, sweet friend, Yanira, send me. Um, let me see, where am I going to put this? I think you're trying to do too many things at once. I just... While thinking about what you need to do next and what you're trying <laughs> to say next. It's a lot to juggle. Not me! And we're live. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, friends, this is another... I'll show you in another step how I made this little heart. I'm just going to pop this little heart off. It's okay. And I'm going to stick it on there. Oh, look how cute that looks. I can't stand right it. Here. It looks so cute already. Okay, now I'm gonna try to slide it as best I can onto this plate. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna glitter it and detail it. I've got some little beads, some of these beads, and where is my tuck? There's the I'll show you where I got these beads in a little bit. They come from Hobby Lobby. But I'm just gonna throw some of these red beads on here. And my friend Cindy's gonna die because I have not found my little tool yet. It's somewhere. So I'm gonna use a toothpick to <laughs> press these tips. and say, I sent you a tool so you could use it. Tools are always great until you lose them. I, don't, I haven't lost it. It's just, I think it's in my, um, where my other half of my craft stash is at, and that's my laundry room. Okay, now I'm going to get some of these little hearts. You can't really see this. Okay, so let me see what else I have. I have a sweet, sweet friend, Donna Fowler. Everybody's my sweet friend. She sent me these cute little hearts with confetti last year. Little heart confetti. And I think I'm gonna use these. Thank you, Donna. You're such a sweet friend. A lot of times when uh, you send me things, I don't use them right away, but I have a purpose and a use for them later. So um, it, does Yanira say how much her sale is on her clay? Oh, wow. Better. Okay, so shipping, what about shipping? I'm not sure. I can ask. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you also need to say that. She's not mic'd up. They can't hear what she's saying. Okay. I will when we introduce her clip. Look All right, at gotcha. this. Is this not cute, friends? Oh, my goodness. How fast and easy was that? Tilt it up that? a little bit because it's got shadows on the pink. How quick and easy is that? That is too cute. Now I'm going to stick that little curly cute thing in there. I love these hangers. I love them. I think it's going to be okay right there. See? Look at that. So where'd you, where'd you just shove that? Was that kind of in between the... 
Yeah. Okay. It'll, it'll dry in right, between right, there. Right. Did I put any glitter on it? No, I didn't. What's wrong with me? It doesn't hurt to throw a little more on it. <laughs> I know you, you can never have too much glitter. I know, and you know what? If it don't shine, it ain't mine. We need some shirts that say that. That's what everybody's telling us. Okay, I'm gonna put it right there. All right, so that one's done. I think I'm gonna do this one in pink. Let me see, I've got some pink right here. Now this is the Dollar Tree pink. Where's the Dollar Tree canister? Right here. I don't know, there's a lot to look at. I, uh, so you used this Dollar Tree uh, spackle and you mixed it with some of that pink paint? With pink paint and squirted some little, uh, a little spray of water, water in there. Water to just help dilute it a little. Mm -hmm. All right, you wanna come around? Sure. Oh, and I have a heart ready for this one. Oh, well, it'll be all right, I can do it later. Okay, and on this one, You know what? We totally, you totally forgot to greet your uh, your Spanish-speaking audience. I started to while ago. I got distracted. <laughs> Hola, amigas y amiguitos. Los aprecio mucho. Feliz año nuevo. Les mando un fuerte abrazo y estoy muy agradecida que están ustedes aquí conmigo. Gracias, amigos y amiguitas. Los quiero mucho. Love you. Mua. I love everybody that's on our uh, channel. Everybody's so nice. I mean, how can, how can I have a bad day when I have so many wonderful people in my life? Uh, we you just know, had somebody that just joined asked how you made the, the waffle. Um, the waffle? Yeah, where was that? Yeah, the waffle print. Remember how you just cut that up earlier? Yeah, I'll show in a minute. Gotcha. Yeah, I was just gonna. Here, let's get that out of the way. You got a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> I gotta figure this out. Here we go. I think it was Dee Dee that asked. Yeah, it's just this underlay Hi, Dee Dee. rug stuff that somebody sent her, and then she cut it up. Somebody, Debbie Williams. I couldn't remember who you said. <laughs> Debbie Williams is gonna get you. <laughs> I know. I'll hear it from her later. Sorry, Debbie. <laughs> Friends, and I'm also wearing an apron that was gifted to me. Did I already say this? Yes, you did. By my friend Callan with Crazy Days of Callan. That's the name of her YouTube channel. She does Dollar Tree hauls on um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And she's a joy, friends. She is just wonderful. Um, if you think you're even, if you're even thinking about having a bad day, tune into her channel. Man, she is my sparkle and shine gal pal. She is so sweet. Okay, I feel like this one needs something else. How about some, how about some of this? Again, this is, was gifted to me by Donna Fowler. Hi Donna, if you're watching, I'm using the glitter you sent me last year. Or, yeah, it's been. <laughs> Hey, oh, yeah. Moreno fam, you're not shopping today? She's probably already shopped out. <laughs> I want to go shopping with her. <laughs> she finds the best deals. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I don't have a heart ready, but I will glue one later on and probably post a picture. You said you were going to show how to make one. What? One of those hearts. Well, yeah, but it's not going to be ready for me to put on here. It might. And I don't Yanira know. Yanira said no shipping is not included in that price too. No, we need to, we need to know how much shipping is. Uh, I'm sure, I, I don't know. That might vary. Yeah, I think it probably varies. Okay. Probably varies. Probably varies. They'll just on where they'll you just live. have to to message her. Okay, friends. Getting back to the little hearts. Oh my. Let me tell you about this little tool. What does this go to? This right here. I gotta tell you about this little, these so, little Melissa hearts. Green asked if you could skewer one of these and make it into, is that a floral arrangement? It just disappeared. Yeah, and a flower arrangement. And a flower arrangement. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. But 
speaking of that, you can also make them out of styrofoam like I made these last year. And I was telling Eric friends that I'm going to start using more lightweight spackle for detail on uh, my decorations because they last so well. All of my Christmas stuff from last year that I used this year did excellent. And look, these are from last year. The only thing uh, I wouldn't recommend using real sprinkles in the colors pink and red because they do bleed a little bit. But look how well preserved they are. That's too cool. I just wanted to mention that. That's why I had those out here. Also, okay, Debbie Williams, who is a big supporter of our channel, and she's my, our friend. She's a family friend. We just love her. She sent me a, a link, which I'm going to try to get from her, where to order these little heart pressed down cookie cutter things and they are amazing. I'm gonna show you right quick how great they are. I have some made already here, look. Peep this, y'all. Hey, Cindy, how are ya? <laughs> we love you, girl. And look what Cindy sent me. Oh yeah, by the way. I love it. Cindy, Happy New Year, friend. Cindy, we love you. We were impressed. She opened the box and that's how it was in there. And it wasn't broken. It wasn't anything. It came delivered like that. Oh, I love it, Cindy. You know that I'm going to use it from now on for New Year's decorations. All right. I'm going to show you right quick this gadget. But what I was going to mention about these little things, I've got to find the link from her. I tried to... Uh, I tried to get that info so that we could link it, but I will get it to y'all as soon as I get it. Um, it came with a big package of different, all kinds of different decorations. You just press down on it like that. Mm -hmm. And it cuts it out? Well, normally it comes out on here. Let's see. Oh, it didn't come out with it? Yeah, it came out, right? No. Nope. They're not. Normally they get stuck in there, but either way. See? I love that it does that. Look! Isn't that too cool? It looks it looks like a legit sweet tart. Or it sweetheart. Or whatever you call those candies. Those really chalky candies. Conversation yes. Hearts. Conversation hearts. Conversation hearts. There you go. Friends, what I wanted to mention about these is that the hope there's a big package that comes. I'm not going to use that one. I didn't like the way that one turned out. But <laughs> <laughs> this is live. Oh. It happens. It happens. Anyway, that's what I'm, I used to make these with. And um, getting back to, these were only $7.99, and it came with all these, friends. Look at that. These are little flowers in different sizes. Same pattern, but different sizes look like. This one has all those different sizes. It was this whole big pack for $7.99. And I think my sweet Leanna ordered these for me. So with we didn't have any shipping. Look, this is butterfly. We didn't have any shipping because I think we ordered it through Prime, right? Or something like that. But it's a great buy. They work great. So we need to get that info to you. Those came off Amazon, is that what you said? Mm -hmm. okay. she, Leanna ordered those for me last year. All right, let me move this out of the way. Next, when these are dry, you're thinking, how am I gonna paint these? These are so tiny. Don't you worry. I think, I think this idea might have come from Cindy. What you do is you grab you a popsicle stick and you just put a little bitty dot of hot glue and then you paint it. How easy and brilliant is that? That was too cool, the idea of it. And then when it's ready, you just take it off and you just put it on there. So as soon as my glue gun gets ready, I'll do That's that. That's fine. Uh, speaking of, hey, Leanna, do you think that you could post um, in the chat the link, the Amazon link to... Okay. Yeah, she's looking for that cookie cutter set link, so we'll try and post it there and then post it. They maybe. were not expensive at all. I think they were like 10 bucks or so, something like that. I can't remember for all three of them. Okay, another thing I wanted to mention to you, if there's still stuff 
at um, your Walmart. After Christmas, I had been eyeballing this set of cookie cutters because I love these that have the little spring and the press down mm -hmm. and uh, they're stamps, cookie cutter stamps. And I had been eyeballing this set. It has a Santa, a little gnome and um, snowman and this gingerbread guy. And I thought I'll get them after Christmas because they were $7.99 and I didn't want to pay that much for these, the four set. Um, so when I went when I went after Christmas, they were 38 cents a package. That was a steal. So I got a couple of packages. But anyway, Leanna, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm going to give away this one set to one of our, somebody that's watching today. I don't know how you're going to do that either. Just scroll and stop. That's how some people do it. When <laughs> In the comments. We'll wait till we get to the end of the video. Yeah, that's, that way that's everybody's had a chance to comment. Well, that's what I meant. Okay, gotcha. I wasn't about to cheat anybody out. I know. I saw that uh, Peep This Y'all was trying to help out by supplying a link. Did it not show up, Leanna? Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's like a... No, I don't see it. There may be some sort of blocker. We may have to add it at the, at I, the end. But look how, look how cool these are. I just love them. I'm oh, sorry, guys. This is only look. our second live, and I've, I have failed to do any research on how to make them better. But we're trying. That's we're what trying. we're doing. I plan on getting a gimbal for the phone so it's not so shaky. Look, and look how how cool. And they dry so well. I just love it. And if you go ahead while it's wet and get your jar, your candy jar, and kind of shape it on there. How did, how did we get that to stay last time? And then uh, you just glue it on there. They'll be so cute on could, candy jars. You can, you can, well... You can just lay it over the top, or you can lightly apply like some, some painter's tape. Oh, yes, that's what but it was. But reverse so the adhesive's on the outside, not sticking to your craft and tearing it up. That's what it was. All right. Yes, yes, everybody, there's there's no link. No link is going to show up. I think YouTube has it automatically blocking links showing up in the, <clears throat> in the chat. So we're going to have to supply the link, I guess, afterwards. Maybe... Through the Facebook uh, group page, maybe? I think you can comment on this after the video is not live. So we'll put some links up and we'll pin it to the top. It's about the best I can do for you right now. <laughs> oh, that showed up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You're asking me. I'm trying to film a live and read and... <laughs> and help your mama. <laughs> what else do I need to do here? Just a little... Dot is all you need. And you glue your little heart there. And then you take your red paint. And with your brush. And this is, um, what is it? It's so tiny, true, re true red. And I'll just grab this for my little container. And what I do on this, since I know it's going to be glittered, I just try to get it wet as, with paint really well. See how easy that is? Cindy, you are amazing. I think she's the one that taught us this. There we go. Somebody said only moderators and admins can post links. So. Oh, so that works for me. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, somebody was asking about the metal cookie cutters too. Yeah, the and um, yeah. Sorry for the cross conversation. Y'all can't hear my wife. I only have two wireless mics. Oh, we need to get her one. Okay. Look. Voila. That is too cool. And then as soon as you Hold feel on, that- can you point it more towards the light, like directly at the light? There we go, I can see it better. There okay. we go. It's hard for it to, the camera does not want to focus on it. It's all right. Um, it's tiny, that's why. <laughs> it is, but I just wanted to show you that even the tiniest one that you do the same thing and it, then you just peel it off of there and stick, this one will be, I'll put that up on that one. So I just set it up to dry. Okay, now I wanted to, let's see, get some of this out of the way. 
I want it to go onto this clay. Designs by Yanira, I think it's, <laughs> I hope I'm not chopping her name up. Um, she's so sweet. She sent me some friend mail and she sells this um, clay. Hey, turn it a little this way. There we go. I'm getting some. Reflect. And I hadn't had a chance to use it. She's so generous and, and God bless her generosity. She sent me four different colors and um, I just started playing with it this week. And I want to show you how easy it, I'm hooked. I'm hooked and she said she has, she has these in all different colors. You can order this by going to her Facebook, uh, her Facebook group page. It's designs by Yanira, and uh, they're $10 a bag, but friends, look, oh, I love it, love oh, it, love Are those it. made completely yes. of her stuff? Yes, yeah, yes. They, they look very tasty, too. <laughs> well, oh, look, look what I did to this one. I just I did this one right quick. Isn't that cute? And there's, it's so lightweight. I'm hooked on this um, clay. Listen, friends. I'm not kidding you. She has some in the color of dough. That's a must because can you imagine? Look like dough ornaments. No, I can't. You're going to mess me up because Leanna's been baking really good stuff and then you've been making <laughs> fake stuff. And I got to remember when I walk in here to turn that mindset off and when I go home to you know, turn it back on. I love so this. So that way I'm not accidentally eating your fake stuff. <laughs> I know, I know. I love to put out my fake stuff and Eric's friends are always asking, is this, is this your mom's real stuff or is it her fake stuff? I just kind of shaped it like that and then stuck my finger through it. Now the back part I haven't really, I've made these out of um, Modelite and it's worked for me. But friends, this is already colored. It's, so it's, t go visit her uh, Facebook group page. Uh, it is, Designs by Yanira, and she's got it on sale for $10, a big, huge bag. Look, friends, doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, that's a lot for $10. That's a lot, and Valentine's is coming up, and like I said, she has a big variety of colors, and she, I think she sends out orders. I mean, as soon as she gets the order, she it's out the next day. I mean, she's... There you go, and Leanna dropped a, a link to her Facebook page where you, you thank can you. find it. I know. She's... Try to make it easier on everybody. And y'all, I talked to her on Messenger. She is so sweet because, you know, Eric and I had this conversation not too long ago. When you have your own uh, YouTube channel, it's hard. You spread yourself thin trying to watch everybody that you used to watch, you know, at the very beginning and then as you move on, you know, a lot of new channels come on and a lot of people grow a lot faster than others and everything. Anyway, I can't keep up, you know, so I can barely keep up with my own a lot of times, but I do, do try to visit everybody. And if, if you're on my, my uh, channel or Facebook group page and you have a channel, be sure and comment and let me know because I want to support you as well. You know, I want to go by and visit your channel, and um, I'd love, I'd love to visit. Glutton for punishment see. over there. I do the same thing. I can't help it. I know. I just, you know, it's, I guess because I'm on camera, kind of off-centered my hole there. Well, I found it interesting there because when you punch through, it looked like, I know. Look, look, look. Like, yeah, so you punch through, and the leftover, you kind of turned into, like, almost well, a glazing see. on top, or icing on top, right? Look, this yeah, is what I'm going to cool. do. I'm going to, I'm, in fact, let me do that right now. Is she on? No. No. <laughs> she just said that's what she said. She was making a joke. <laughs> uh, okay, where is my white slick? Okay, I'm going to use white slick. It's tulip, and this is fabric three-dimensional paint, but it works great on crafts. And I'm just going to use this plate right here. Trying to move slow because I know that YouTube lives don't like a lot of movement. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Well, and, and I know that some people kept saying it was blurry. If you're just tuning in and it's blurry for whatever reason, you can, uh, I think in your settings, you can make it 720. Yes, sir. 
And then, and then as soon as after it's processed, like after we finish going live, I believe it uploads to HD. Blurry, really, friends? We can't have that now. Come on. No, we can't. But now that we figured this out, we can also film more live on location. <laughs> I know. And now that we have a cordless glue gun. <laughs> You're going to be doing crafts in the middle of Dollar Tree. Oh, it, it, listen, we would have loved to have uh, crafted out in, where was it? Sedona. At the trails. Oh, and I had a perfect craft for it, but I didn't have anywhere to plug in my glue gun. Well, yeah, and the we other thing was, that. was also figuring out uh, logistics, too, because we had a lot of gear, and getting it to where we were going to film was not practical, so trying to work on that to be more mobile for this next year. Oh, but we had such a fun time on that road trip. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait for us to do that again. I'm ready. And next month, let's go. Let's go. My daughter-in-law, she should be a travel agent because um, she just gets us to the nicest and best places and discovers places that we didn't even know we were going to go visit till we got there. All right. See how I covered that? I don't know how other crafters do it. And like I said, I need to watch how she does hers. But look, I took care of my problem. I'm so excited. I love this one. And you near and, just said, Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year, friend. Yeah, we might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm so sorry. Yanita? Yanita, Hanita, why don't I just call you? You could just let her Mommy, tell you how to call Hanita. it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't listen to other people. That's how you get in trouble. Uh, you know, that's why I call everybody friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's easier for you to not have to remember uh, names. Look at this. Oh, Donna Fowler, thank you so much for sending me these little uh, confetti stuff. Oh, look how cute. I think I'm going to put pink on this one. Oh my goodness, guys, you have to order some of this clay. You've got to. She said I said it right in English. So How did you say it? Yanir. She said that's correct. Oh, so. I'm going to call you Hanita because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, friends, how quick was that? Oh my goodness. Just think of the possibilities, especially like you said, um, I had a lot of people message me after I posted a picture of, of uh, the ornaments and they said, we want to learn how to make these, these two in front, you know, and a donut possibly. Well, here you go. Get you some clay ordered and just go to town because you know what? It dries real quick too. It dries really, really quick. Thank you, friend, for sending me this. Ay, Hanita, me hiciste un regalo tan precioso. All right. Next, let's see, what else was I going to share with everybody? Oh, okay. I just, I just have to figure out a way of how to get organized on a live because I don't like a bunch of stuff and a bunch <laughs> of clutter. And it drives me crazy, but there's so much I want to share with you. Cindy was trying to help out on the pronunciation, and Yanira said that she was fine with anybody calling her whatever. You calling her whatever. <laughs> <laughs> To our house you never know what you're gonna be called yeah somebody else had also mentioned too using like the little glue dots on the popsicle stick to hold down the heart as well i've done that before but you know what the glue dot got all gummy uh -huh. and then got on my fingers and it got on the back of the so maybe my glue dots were old though because i've had them since i did the art and, could be because i was also yeah. wondering if like some ca glue would work as well but but the, how easy is that? Because my yeah. glue gun is always here, whatever. But it's just uh, I always tell people to just yeah, use whatever you have at your. I, don't, I was wondering why. My... <laughs> okay, enough of this. Ay ay ay. Okay. And by the way, that's her natural hair. She's not wearing a bump it or whatever the <laughs> late night infomercials used to sell. <laughs> no. Eric says. That's why there's holes in the ozone. Uh, Eric... Global. Global warming crisis Eric right there. Eric says, I wish I could film from up here going down, but your big hair gets in the way. There's a reason I wear a hat. That's what my hair looks like. Okay, friends, along with this, the cookie cutter giveaway, I'm going to give away this silicone mold. It's of these um, 
uh, little snowflakes. Oh my goodness. Friends, I went to Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I spent too much after Christmas, but I got stuff that is really cool. Look, that I hadn't even noticed. I got this little silicone mold for, uh, it was selling for $2.99 and it was 70% off or 60 still. But look how you can make your own embellishments out of just little leftover dough, I mean clay. Oh my goodness, look. I just stuck it on there and then put it in the freezer for just a few minutes and then took it out and it popped right out. Look at that. How yeah. cool is that? So yeah, I'm gonna include that along with, because I bought an extra one. But be on the lookout for them because look, they had they had this one that is the, um, the little ornaments and that was also a $3.99 one. And then I invested in this one and when I went back to get some more for a giveaway, they were all gone. Those are cool. I know, I just can't wait to play with this. And what I liked is it has that little holly berry right there. You can always use that as a little embellishment. My deal is I do a lot of this stuff during the summer, so it's completely dry and ready to go during the winter uh, whenever I get ready to do a Christmas crafts or Christmas in July, which, by the way, we do have a big lineup, God willing, everything turn out okay this year uh, for our Christmas in July. Let's see, what else was I going to share with y'all? Somebody asked, uh, somebody said they're new to the channel and they asked if they can use the crayon, the molding foam. It just went away on the phone, Liam. Molding, molding foam. Crayon, oh. crayon, crayon, crayon. Is that the well? Is that Crayola is brand the, that, that model magic that you're using? Yes, yes. You this is this also comes in a big pack for less than about oh, almost serious. five dollars. Comes in a big pack, colorful pack, for five dollars at Walmart and also at um, I don't know how much it is at Hobby Lobby. I'll have to go in there and and check. Now I was going to tell you that on my video where I made the donuts. I use this model light and it feels a lot like this one and but it's just plain white uh, but this one's colored already hey, didn't though. you mention you wanted to let everybody know how well stuff held up from last year some of the stuff I did mention that already oh uh, you did that's okay <laughs> that's all right I'm here and I'm not here when I'm behind <laughs> the scenes I'm like paying attention to stuff like look for instance I'm sorry if I'm shaky it's because I'm constantly holding audio checking levels and See, I was going to share with you, I already put up my Christmas uh, stuff from that I had displayed in my background, but look how, how good these held up. These are just held up really good with the lightweight spackle. And I, I think it gives it so much depth, I mean, uh, dimension for your uh, detail. So I'm going to be trying a lot more of that. Um, Look at this donut. Is this not cute? I get so excited over the silliest little things. Look at this. This is just precious. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Looks hey, great. I'm going to decorate the pink one while we're at Oh, no. It. I thought that was funny, Buttercup. <laughs> what? I was talking to Buttercup Creations on here. She was telling me to keep up with you. Oh. <laughs> She's like, come on, keep up with your mom. Oh, man. Some days. Okay, so see how that looks in the back? Usually when we're recording, it's me. The, it's the other way around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> ah, my poor Eric. He's just like, he never knows from one minute to the next what I'm going to do. I don't know anything from one minute to the next. Mm -hmm. I, I may, they may call me and I may be gone for the next three months. I, I may get a call tomorrow. So you just never know. Yeah, he was supposed to be filming at a car show today. I was lucky to have him here. I just kind of be like people were asking what we did for New Year's and I, I didn't do anything and I had the option to be working down in Cabo. Pa oh, paid man. trip, But I just didn't feel like being down there. I just wanted to be at home. Me Chill too. Chill on the couch, watch some TV. Friends, this year, <clears throat> God willing, guess what? I'm going to be an official senior citizen. You be sure and give me my discount. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be telling everybody, but not till May. But anyway, I'm kind of excited about that. And we were talking about car shows. And since my birthday's in May, I told uh, my husband, I said, I want, uh, oh, he said, I hope, I hope you don't want a big fiesta this year. And I said, well, why wouldn't I? It's, I'm going to be 65. And I said, I want a fiesta now. I, I want, 
I want to be riding in a low rider car and I want them to bring me to my party. I hope Shorty brings me in a low rider and I want him to bounce me up and down. There, before there's, I there's a friend of mine. <laughs> there's a friend of mine who recently got a TV show on Motor Trend and my, and my mom knows him. Sweetheart. It's, it's called, yeah, Shorty's Custom Paints, I think is what the show is yeah, called. Yeah, so I told my husband, why wouldn't I want a big Mexican fiesta? It's my birthday, it's Cinco de Mayo in May. It's, that's not my birthday, but it's not till the 29th of May. Hey, but I, I celebrate said, the whole month. Yes. Yes, I got this, 4th of July in my month. And this month we have my daughter-in-law, Leanna, and we have my son, Jared. Also, hey, somebody did ask an interesting question that I'd never even thought about. Uh, somebody asked, what made you start using styrofoam for that? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. Sometimes I dream up things in my head. <laughs> A scary thought. Uh, we got Mr. Louis Sandoval in the chat. Hey, <laughs> how's chimoy, it going? Chimoy, chimoy, chimoy. <laughs> ah, uh. Let's see. Um, what got me started on that is I saw an ornament um, that was an ice cream cone, and I wanted it so bad, and it was fourteen ninety nine, and I thought even on sale, I'm not going to buy it for that, you know. So. I don't know, something came up and, and um, I was looking through stuff at Walmart and I looked at that, they had some styrofoam and I thought, oh, I'm gonna make my popsicle out of uh, styrofoam. And that's where it all started. And I've got a, a Valentine craft coming up, friends. Y'all are gonna like, and I'm gonna be using that quarter inch uh, styrofoam that's, that's it's a quarter inch, is that what, is that what it is? It's like about that thick. It's not a, an inch. That that's about half an inch right there. Guesstimate. <laughs> Guesstimate. Get, what, you, what are we talking about right I'm now? I'm talking about styrofoam. Anyway, oh. I'm gonna make some hearts and, and the the styrofoam you use one inch. It's no, but I'm not gonna make it out of that. I'm gonna use it out. Of, I'm gonna make it out of those big sheets I get at Lowe's. That oh, like the insulation foam. Is that what you're talking about? It's called. Um, Something like that. I don't that. know. Sometimes yeah. I don't even know until she shows me, guys. So I'm sorry. <laughs> and somebody Ooh, asked about... all over the place. Yeah, somebody asked about what camera I use besides... Like right now, we're just using an iPhone hooked up to... I, I just using the Apple USB adapter... I love ...to this. the Rode wireless stuff. And typically, I use Sony cameras, which... They're pretty affordable, but that's kind of expensive too. Like I always tell people when people ask me all the time about doing YouTube to just use their phone and upgrade their audio and like just having a good light source helps. It doesn't even have to be this big fancy light. The only reason I even have any of these tools that we use for this is because I've been doing this for like 15 years now filming, working in media. So, and then Buttercup asked if I watched the Georgia TCU football game, which I did not. But I'm curious who won because I'm a TCU fan since we're in Fort Worth. Yeah. Did they? They're having a good year. Yay. And I haven't been able to keep track this year. Yay. All I'm right. So, so glad. back on track. All right. <laughs> so um, I think that is all. I, oh, one more thing I wanted to share with you. These, the, the set of paint brushes, the paint brushes that I use on the styrofoam that I'm always bragging about, like this one, mm -hmm. these two, came in this set right here. It's called Assorted Brushes, and it's 25 pieces. There's all kinds of different brushes and sponge brushes. There's another one right there. And um, there's the coat. I, I think it sells for like five bucks. I don't know. I hate to quote because things have gone up here recently. So, yeah. But it was around five bucks when I bought this. And look at this. This set brings three of those brushes it's an investment. There's a lot of good brushes. Now these, I don't, I don't use. We use these in art class and the kids, but um, these I don't, I don't really care for. But they're, but the rest are pretty good. It's even got a shader in there. It's got dry brushes. It's got liners, and then it's got the little round brushes. Man, and that's that that's was five dollars. Yeah, I think it was. It was like five. It was. Jesus. It was about five bucks. I'm gonna go to Walmart right after this and buy some. These are. I, I still am using the ones from the first set. There's a lot in here. Twenty-five pieces. Yeah, like I said, these are good for your kids to play with. 
<laughs> yeah, because I mean, if they ruin them, there's, <laughs> yeah. you know, what's five dollars anyway? Yeah. That's like a nickel. Yeah, but the rest are I I would have use for all of the rest. So this is a bargain. I know I gave away some. If I if I find another set, I'll do a giveaway, another giveaway. But anyway, so I just wanted to share that with you. Is that the end? I think so. Are you so. ready to do, you're going to give away some stuff? Is that how we're going to live? We have 179 <laughs> people live. Okay, Leanna, just roll. So what do I do? Close my eyes? Yeah. Oh, you're going to show my messy room. All right. What do I do? Just keep scrolling? Scroll up because you're at the bottom. Oh, Stop. It looks like you landed on Andrew Bishop. Yay, Andrew Bishop. So that's you, one. You are the winner. No, I'm going to combine. Oh, you combine them? So you were just yeah. doing one giveaway? I'm doing one giveaway. But hey, I'm going to do another Facebook group page giveaway just because it's a new year and I love y'all. I love your support. Listen, we could not do this without your love and support. We appreciate you so much. And thanks for being patient with us. <laughs> and I'm so glad I didn't get the giggles too bad today. But listen, friends, we love you. Have a great new year. This is a new year. Let's, let's just have a great time and craft on, you know, because a craft a day keeps the crazies away. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> love you, friends. Be the reason somebody smiles today. I hope everyone has a good new year. Happy new year. Let's see if I can get this to stop. <laughs>